Okay, I'm recording. All right. So it's been a while since we've done a Matt Sips things, but uh, we came here to Dauphine's uh, in what neighborhood are we in? Well, we're in Washington, D.C. somewhere. I don't know. You can find it on, just Google Dauphine's. It's on 14th Street Northwest, Mount, west of Mount Vernon Square. All right, we're close to Mount Vernon Square. Anyway, this is a really good restaurant. We just got done eating oysters and uh, literally everything on their boucherie plate. Uh, everything was delicious, service is amazing. Uh, but I noticed on their wine list that they actually had Pappy Van Winkle. So I went for the low end Pappy Van Winkle. This is the 12 year special reserve. This is like, I don't know, many people consider this the holy grail of bourbons. Uh, and I thought it's, this is a, this is a, if I was ever going to do a Matt Sips thing, this seems like the best time to do it. So here we are drinking the Pappy Van Winkle 12 year reserve. I just want to say that this is the lowest end of the Pappy Van Winkle. At the top end, they have the 23 year Pappy Van Winkle, which I believe was something like $140 for this much. Uh, this was not that much. I'm not rich. So here we go. Oh, it smells so good. I mean, you gotta put that federal government salary, you gotta spend it somewhere. Oh yes, my big GS5 salary. I make about, what, 25 grand a year, something like that? Something ridiculously low. But I'm on the fast track. Anyway. It mostly smells like butterscotch. It almost smells like a really high-end rum. I agree with that. I already tasted it. It does taste like rum. But when you taste it, you get a lot more um, complicated flavors. Um, pepper, like black pepper. Also bell pepper, oddly enough. Vanilla, of course, because it's bourbon. Maybe a hint of maple and butterscotch. Um, You'll notice that I put one big ice cube in. Bourbon really isn't meant to be, you know, you're not really supposed to have bourbon without a little water or a little ice because that brings out the sweetness. You're good. You're fine. You can just set it down. Thank you so much. <laughs> Enjoy. Oh, look Thank at you. that fun thing. This is we cool. We ordered beignet. <laughs> now you're getting Pappy and the beignet. Fun. Anyway, so this is Pappy Van Winkle. Every time I've tried to order in a restaurant, they've been out but today apparently they just got it in so I finally got lucky and was able to get a hold of some Pappy Van Winkle um, I think the last time I had Pappy Van Winkle was at my friend Cassandra's house years ago um, her husband had some from from his wedding uh, so this is only the second time I've been able to have it it's really hard to find and it's very expensive it is It's really unique. I mean, are there other bourbons that are cheaper that are good? I mean, sure, Black Maple Hill is amazing. Uh, obviously, Angel's Envy is always good. Uh, there, are, there are lots of good bourbons, but I kind of see why Pappy is, is sort of legendary. It's a really incredibly smooth, super flavorful bourbon. I mean, it's just just really hard to describe. I mean, it is the smoothest bourbon I think I've ever had. So if you ever get a chance to drink Pappy, I believe you should. I don't think you necessarily have to drink the 23-year-old Pappy, but I mean, if you can afford it, go for it. You know, I mean, you only live once, right? But I can definitely recommend the 12-year because this is some really tasty bourbon. So now I'm going to eat a beignet. So whatever you're drinking right now, I hope you're enjoying it.